What's up everybody? We're back for another bike ride and today we're in Indianapolis. Today joining me is my father. Now, Hello there. he has the standard equipped out bike ready for any scenario and me, I have my Zizzo. So today I want to see if I can keep up with him. We just did a downhill and I was a little bit slower. So a little, little bit, a lot, a lot. He's <laughs> way back there. Let's see if I can keep up. It's going to be interesting. Well, let's get riding, guys. So far, he's going pretty fast. I'm like, I'm pretty far away from you. And I'm already tired. I'm very, I'm very out of shape. Super out of shape. So, that also plays a factor into it. But yeah, I'm gonna keep on biking. And if I lose him, we'll just go on our own little journey then. Around. Yeah, you got some fast bike. That bike is gone. So. It is what it is. All I can do is cruise. Overtaken! Overtaken! Oh! I'm getting past! I'm getting past now! That was short. That was short. Somebody in the comment section suggested that I get gloves. So I went and got some gloves. I just got from Walmart, but I may get some better ones. We'll see. This is our state fair. We used to come here when the fairgrounds would go. It was a fun time. It's a pretty nice state fair. Yes, we're stopping by a placard that highlights the achievements of Marshall Major Taylor, who was an African American in the 1800s, was known as the world's fastest man uh, as far as a cyclist goes. Somebody to be proud of for the Indianapolis people of this person and his legacy that he left behind. All right, guys, I'm feeling good now. My legs woke up, glutes have been activated, and we are moving. So I just took a little bit of a wake-up call for my legs so we can keep up with his bike for now. He's going slow, though, so I don't want to underestimate. I don't want to underestimate. I don't want whatever that word means. But um, he gave me this mouth cover. It helps a lot in the cold weather. So you can, you can inhale a bunch of hot air or warm air and stuff cold. So it's been helping out a lot. All right, so I believe we're in Bra Ripple right now. And I like Bra Ripple to walk around. Okay. Oh, my bad. <laughs> we're using the bell system so he'll know that I'm recording. The weather feels pretty good right now. I think we're sitting at around 40, if I had to guess. Let me show you this, this uh, train. Check out that train mural. Oh, I'm falling behind. Five. At five, I can keep up with him, which is good. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we got to oh no, my bike. Yeah, we gonna go for that. Oh no, my bike fell over. Uh, yeah, we're um, nine miles in. Eight. Eight miles in. Feeling pretty good. Not too bad. He's getting some coffee at Java House. I got some hot chocolate from them before. 
and it's delicious. I got like the coconut, coconut hot chocolate or something like that. It was really good. But I'm feeling good. I can go for another probably, I'd say 20 miles out and then come back in. Yeah, I could do 50 miles today. I feel it. So, yeah. We're in Brow Rumble right now. I like this area. Very nice and chill. I used to come here a lot in my youth. So, right now, on flat level, I can keep up with the bike easily. I have to shift it to like five, and I'm good. I'm gonna go downhill, he has me, and going uphill, he has me there. But if it's flat land like this, I can keep up with this. Now, if we were in Texas, he'll probably have me dusted because of those hills. I keep getting scared because I think there's gonna be a hill coming up, but it never does, so I'm glad for that. Good old Indian. My granoles are rock hard. <laughs> Riding on the trail, I used to come all the time, walk my dog. Betsy, rest in peace. This would be like the equivalent to Austin's downtown trail um, by the river. So, yeah, it's very nice, it's very nice. Over there, you got very bougie houses. They're nice and big, but they're really cool. It's like being in a different, it looks like they're from Italy or something like that. It's like being in a different country in that little neighborhood. I'm about to show you this bridge that I used to always come to. This is a nice bridge. I should have rang my bell for that little doggy. I'm sorry, doggy. If that dog decided to come for me, he would have got a horn to the face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got it on me today. I'm about that time. We're in uh, Carmel right now. It's nice. We had two uphills and downhills, and he took off, he took off on me. I doubt that he even knows I'm still existing. But that's all right. I actually caught up to him. It's right here. It's like a Carmel's like a jumble up. It's like a bunch of different architecture. It has no. Wait a second. Look at this. Yeah, like I was saying, I feel like there's not one style of housing or buildings here. It's just a bunch of different, bro, look at this stuff. <laughs> Back when I used to eat meat, me and my fiance eat at that restaurant, pretty good burger. Oh, that's so good. <sighs> we are 19 miles in. Just ate another granola. Tastes good. Mm hmm. Nice and crunchy. I don't know. All right. Looks like we're about 18 miles in. How are you feeling? Like an old man, but I'm still going at it. Yeah, he's still keeping. Well, he's going faster than me right now, so we'll see on the way back. So far, I'm able to keep up it's with him. We're on the way back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> For you or me? For you. Yeah, probably true. Probably true. We'll see. I'm just gonna soak it in the sun. 
and relax. Oh boy. I'm a little out of shape, but that's just because I haven't been biking every day. So I need to get back to it. I think I might eat some chips. Yeah, might as well. We have some sun chips today. Harvest cheddar, delicious. What's going on with this wheelbarrow? This is suspicious. Look at this. Well, I guess it wasn't. like we're in Westfield I've never been here 21 miles out yeah I don't think I've ever been here looks like this new and up and coming because there's a lot of construction around these parts right now I'm feeling it because I want some I want some bread cheese mushrooms Tomatoes, sounds like a pizza. Low key, low key, I think I want a veggie pizza. That sounds real good. And then, I need some, something sweet. I need some sugar. Keep my energy high. So far, I feel like Texas is harder to bike around. But, yeah, I think the major difference is that I'm over, out of shape right now, so. I'm not performing to 100%. I ain't gonna lie. If I don't find no food place in the next 10 minutes, I'm about to turn around. Because I am hungry and I don't want any more granolas. I'm ready for some food. So I may have to turn back around. Because it's, it's probably gonna be 50 miles total. Yeah, I'm hungry. He's taking off, so he may have to finish this by himself. JT may have to be taking a side quest. Here's such, they build nice houses over here. Oh, oh that's the road. Distracted. Oh, yeah. Super nice houses. Woo wee. Yep, I slowed down a bunch. I'm just gonna go my pace because I'm out of calories. We be burning super hard, so I'm just gonna reserve the ones I have and just vibe out and relax. You know? Still how I do. It's nice though. It's nice weather. I don't know where we're going. I don't know where we're at. I gotta get mine. Booty back where I belong. <laughs> Those big old silos. Whew. Those are huge. There goes the cornfields. Good old Indiana. Yeah, that's abandoned. The farm. There he goes. Alright, so biking on a flat surface is fun in the beginning, but after a while, I started to get tired, just because there's no change in scenery. So, I got tired, and then I got sleepy, and then I got hungry. And now, I'm just tired. He can still go fast while he's tired. Me, I slow down a lot. Also, I just started biking, and he been biking, so there's a difference there too. Overall, not too bad, not too bad. I still have to go all the way back. I think we're approaching 30 miles. So it's gonna be 60 in total. That's gonna be my PB. Hopefully I can make it back without falling asleep. 
All right, guys. I'll let you know what happens next when it happens. All right, made it to the end of Monon Trail, and I'm ready to get back because I don't want to be around here at night time. All right, so we made it back to Westfield. I don't feel too bad. I started putting my forearms on the handlebars and we will put down, get more speed that way. I may about move my handlebars down to see if that makes a difference. But yeah, not doing too bad, keeping up. So I think we're trying to find some food now. Just got done eating. That's pretty good. What was the name of the place? Uh, Juniper. Juniper. It's pretty good. It had me like a grilled cheese thing, but it was delicious. But it's getting, I think, what time is it? It is 6.09 and it's getting chilly outside. You know, I'm a Texas boy, so my blood ain't ready for this. Hopefully we can get back soon. I think we're an hour and 11 minutes away with my bike and my strength level right now. We're probably two hours away. So we're going to see, what, see if we can make it. Man, it's so cold too. I can't feel my feet. I can't feel my dedos at all. Wait a second, let me get my flash out. Right. We're back on Route Ripple. Almost took, almost back to our starting destination. So, feel a little tired. All right, we're finally done after 55 miles. But if you were to ask me, it was 60. And from, what was the time? 11.54 to 8.02. We have finally made it back. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, I destroyed you. But the question was, can a folding bike keep up with a regular bike? The answer is no. I'm also out of shape. So maybe you can keep up with one, but me, JT, cannot. But I did the journey. Just did it at my own pace. Didn't beat him at the Slow. end. I, I tried. Um, but if I had a regular bike, what happens then? Wait, wait and see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for joining us on this travel adventure. I will see you guys later. Thanks for riding with us. Adios.